Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello. Today, uh, I would like to share with all of you on how to write an easy uh, problem statement for your thesis and your article journal using the upside down uh, pyramid model. Okay, this is uh, a pyramid. Okay, so let's take it upside down. Okay, from wider. Okay, we go to narrow down and narrow down. The first part, we put it as what happened. Okay, the scenario. The second part here of the pyramid. So, what is the problem? And the last part would be what is your contribution? Okay, how can you contribute using your thesis and your article? A, what happened? The scenario. What is the problem? Okay, what is the pro uh, the real problem? And see how your uh, thesis and journal or your journal article can help. Okay, so this is the first article. Okay, it's an English article, Web 2.0 in the online learning environment, a basic qualitative study to define best practices. Okay. So statement of the problem, taking online courses is the only way some student can earn a college degree. I label it as A. As online programs continue to be developed, many administrators and instructors do not know how to incorporate the diverse range of innovative Web 2.0, still A. Uh, the digital natives entering higher education today consider social networking to be part of your life, still A. So the scenario. B, many online instructors do not know how to tap into the social trade by using Web 2.0 technologies to support collaborative, innovative learning. So this is the problem. Okay, the specific uh, problem is many instructors do not understand what advantages Web 2.0 technologies can bring. Still B, how to use these tools effectively in their classroom. So these are kind of problems. So I label it, it as B. And C, so, what is the contribution of your thesis? This study, university administrators and instructors will have the information they need to decide how to integrate Web 2.0 technologies to meet the academic and social needs of their students. So, A, B, and C. So, another example is from Arabic uh, article. Okay. Alidara Madrasiya wa ala katuha. بتنمية مهارة إبداعية في مدارس تعليم الأساسي بمحافظة شمال باطنة في سلطة العمان So for Arabic speakers So Problem statement we call in Arabic as مشكلة البحث إن الثورة معلومة والانفجال معرفي والتكنولوجي والتغيرات المتسارئة This is a scenario جعل العديد من المنظمة المعاصرة تواجه مشكلة متنوعة Still, uh, we, uh, I label it as A because it is a scenario what is happening right now. فَتْرُوا تَقْلِيدِيَا لَمْ تَعَوِذْ ذَاتَ جَدْوَى كَمَا يَتَطَلَّوْا أَيْضًا إِجَادْ أَفْرَادُ يَتَمَتَّ أَوْنَا بِصِفَاتِ إِبْدَعِيَا خَصَّ A تُبْرِزْ مُشْكِلَ دِرَاسَ فِي ضَعْفْ مُسْتَوَى الْإِبْدَاءِ وَالْمَحَارَةِ إِبْدَعِيَا فِي مَدَارِسْ تَعْلِيمُ أَسَاسِي this is the problem وَأَكَّدَ عَلَى هَذَا الْضَعْفْ بالتعرف على الأدوار still the problem uh, ثم إن الأسال الإدارية مطبعة حاليا في المري لا تساهم بشكل فاعل this is the problem so what um, وقد بدأت سلطة عمان عملية معالجة تعليم وتطو وتطوير وتطوير فيها ويؤكد تربوي أن أهم أدوار مدير المدرسة إلى آخره still I put it as a problem so the contribution of this thesis ومن هنا جاء أهمية الدور هذا البحث للتوضيح دور مدير ومديرات المدارس الأمانية في تنمية محارات الإبداعية في مدارس الحكومية بسلطة عمان. So if we can recap back the pyramid, okay, call it upside down. So we go from the wider scenario. And more narrow here from what happened to what is the problem and what is your contribution. Maybe in what happened, we, we can write here one or two paragraphs. What is the, the problem? Two, three or four paragraphs. 
And what is your contribution contribution in one paragraph? I hope this uh, information helps. Thank you very much. Thank you and shukran jazilan. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.